That was a good one. Look at all the costume stuff we have. It's Halloween here, 2015 at Georgetown, and we've got lots to dress up as. The theme is pirates though, isn't it, Cole? Yeah. Oh, more masks, there's wigs in here. Oh, wigs, more hats, there's three pirates hats. We can all be pirates. Yeah. There's a prisoner costume, a pirate costume. And today, we're off to the Georgetown Children's Halloween party. Freshman, no one easy, oh my god, it's like gone! Yum! You won? A little impromptu Junkanoo at the local school. And a few days later, Junkanoo practice at the local school. What do they call this music? Junkanoo. Do you play an instrument? Junkanoo, they're practicing for Junkanoo. But a big Junkanoo carnival that comes up in the, I think it's the summer. All right, downtown Georgetown. Oops. Good morning, everybody. Today we are doing some projects here and there. It's laundry for me. Brad was working on some computer stuff, putting out some videos, and Cole has decided to clean the hall today. Doing a good job there, Mr. Cole. Oh. Hi. Hi. Thanks. How's it going? Good. Get it nice and clean? Yeah. Got a huge white uh, black swatch off, like this big around. Oh, good. Yeah. And as they say, cruising is a lot of fixing boats in exotic places. This time, an alternator issue. A little bit of drama today. Brad was out sailing on Cole's catamar er, kayak with the sail up, and a gust hit him and capsized him, which wouldn't be so bad because he was able to ride it, but when he righted the kayak, the pedals fell out. So now they're on a mission out there to figure out <laughs> where they fell out. I think they've spotted them, which is amazing. We've been talking back and forth on the VHF to see if we can pinpoint where I saw him flip. But it's pretty deep out there. I think it's like 20 feet deep out there. So I hope that they can, I hope they're in a shallow spot. Cole's captaining the dinghy dragging his dad behind the dinghy with a rope so he could snorkel and see if he could see them. And I think they found them, but I'm not sure. Fingers crossed. So I don't know if this is what they call the calm before the storm, but everybody in the harbor has been watching the weather like a hawk and apparently there's a hurricane brewing over top of us that's supposed to hit in the wee hours of the morning tonight. So everybody in the Anchorage is battening down the hatches, including us. Brad's strapping down any loose ends. First mate's helping him out. We've got everything strapped down up here. Kayak is all strapped. Same with the paddleboard. Neighbors there, they're hauling up their dinghy any minute. Some people have left this anchorage to move. Everybody makes their choices. So all of this will have to clear out. Anything that can fly away. So we'll let you know what happens. Hopefully it's uh, 
no big deal. <laughs> and um, all is well. Well, stay tuned and we'll let you know. Fingers crossed. It's kind of pretty skies. Looks like nothing's going on out there. It's barely a cloud in the sky. Hopefully the forecasters are wrong. And it blows out to sea. This is the morning after the Hurricane Kate was supposed to come through our anchorage. We're thinking that it missed us. And then that's it way out there. Because <laughs> it's pretty... It's mellow. Pretty mellow today. It was even super calm earlier. So we're getting ready to go to town. We've got to pick up a few supplies at the auto parts store. We're going to go across the bay to a place called Goat Key. Out this way at the tip. And then it's just a short walk to the auto parts store. It's better than going into town and hoping you can get a ride hitchhiking. It's hard to pick up three people, so we thought we'd ding in. Okay. Hold on tight, people! Here you we go! What's gonna happen? We're gonna drive it. Okay. Forward, right? Yeah. <laughs> Krista doesn't pilot the dinghy very often and thought today would be a great day to brush up on her skills. Okay, let's see you playing this baby. Ah. Almost there, a bit more. Almost, oh, almost. Mommy is driving! Woo! Woo! Oh, it's too fast for me. <laughs> the drive's better than I do, that's for sure. Goat Key is the perfect spot to leave your dinghy with a short walk to the auto parts store. So, which way do you think? Right. And there's our destination. Not too far. No, we oh, found perfect. it. Oh, this is my lucky day. Are we gonna be on YouTube? Yeah. 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 Hey. It's <laughs> a <laughs> GoPro. Yeah. Nice. All right. Perfect. I'll take them both. Get down a pair. We needed to get to the lumber yard too. This would take some hitchhiking. Georgetown is a safe place and we had no worries about putting out our thumbs, hoping for a ride. And it didn't take long. Soon we were on our way. Well, that was easy. What are you doing? A hunk of plywood. <laughs> going for a walk with a hunk of plywood? Yeah, I'm going to try and hitchhike with a hunk of plywood. And then you're going to put it in your dinghy because you don't have a car. <laughs> this is going to go underneath my bed because I need a firmer bed. The slats under there get too much spring. It's hurting my back. So, I'm going to try this underneath. You guys have a great one. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Thanks for the ride. ride. Thanks for the ride. You're one, you're one lucky little one. Yes, I am. Yes, you have. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Okay, good luck Even guys. carrying a hunk of plywood. Thank you. Gotta grab our wood. We were still able to hitch a ride back to the dinghy. If you ever make it to Georgetown, 
check out these nice guys restaurant called Catch a Fire, home of the best sunsets on the island. And there's our dinghy. Just a day later, despite the gorgeous skies from the day before, another two-day storm hits the harbor, packing with it nighttime winds of up to 50 knots. That's more than 80 kilometers an hour, causing boats to drag. I want the location of the uh, dragging boat. Yeah, I'm on the uh, That gust almost pushed me over. Really? Wow. But inside the cockpit, or inside the cabin, not a sound. Just a lot of movement that you can't really yeah. pick up on camera. About 11 o'clock at night, I wanted to show everybody what we're going through out here. We're getting hit by this front, and the wind meter has been showing 40 knots plus. It's pretty crazy out here right now. Our anchor's holding strong, thank God, and so is everybody else's around us. Nobody seems to be dragging, but it's 40 knots. It's just ripping. If we weren't protected by that mountain, that little hill that's back there that you can't see, I don't know what the speed of the winds would be. I'm sure not many people are having very good sleeps tonight. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse, because I don't know how much <laughs> how much force an anchor and chain can handle. 40 knots is a lot of pressure. Looks like the moon's coming out. Okay, we'll talk to you in the morning. Hey morning, it's turned out to be a gorgeous day here in Great Exuma after last night's crazy 15 knot plus winds. And everybody's heading out. That ship has been sitting in harbor for two days. The winds have been so strong and the sea's so big. And they're finally getting out of the harbor and heading off to Nassau. So we're going spear fishing. We got our Hawaiian sling. We're gonna go and see if we can catch ourselves another live fish or maybe some dinner. Got some eggs for the neighbors. It's a nice community going on and neighbors share flour and eggs and butter between. Cup of sugar, <laughs> cup couple of sugar. eggs, <laughs> whatever works. I am your neighbor. So yeah, we got our Let me in. some sugar. <laughs> I think our first mate is trying to start the engine. Working it's, hard. It's cold, it's two stroke. It takes a lot to get us started. So I think I'm gonna have to take over. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Hey, nice job of starting it. It's a lot of work sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. Are you driving? Sure. Alright babe, let's go. Right behind you. Hold up the mini van. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take the eggs? There we go. Hey, you're gonna be on YouTube, hey? Oh, no. Say hi to your friends. <laughs> Say hi to your friends. We are travel dry. We out of here. Be a subscriber. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, we can see up your shorts. That's okay. I'll go on YouTube too. <laughs> hi. Hello. I'm glad I'm in here. Let's go to the reef over where we were before. There's a couple of reefs there. See you later, Dwayne.
There's a small reef up here. Yeah. This one here, there's a bigger one there. Oh yeah. Oh you can see a bunch of fish there. Cool. There's a bigger one here and there's a bigger one there. So let's drop the anchor right in here, Cole, in the middle here. Okay. Right here? Yeah, this is probably good right here. Okay, let's put the anchor down. Sorry. There we are. Okay, we'll go look for line fish first and we'll come back and steer. Alright. It's nice to get off the boat this afternoon. It's turning out to be such a nice day. The boys are in hunting down some lionfish. Let's see if they can do a little spear fishing for fun. Because those guys are a little invasive, so we want to get them out of the reefs. I might have to join them because it says there's thousands of fish over by that little reef. So stay tuned and we're gonna try to see if we can get the GoPro down there to show you what it's like. Coming back. They must have seen something. No luck this time spotting or spearing a lionfish. But after weathering the past few days of storms on board, it was a fun day off the boat. Look at them all. Yeah, beautiful. Hummingbird nest. I've never seen a hummingbird nest before. It's right here. And if you look inside, you can see little pack eggs. Hummingbird nest. Well, it's almost the end of this episode. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our channel. We're in the Dominican Republic now, after a brutal 32-hour crossing. But that video, as they say in the Caribbean, will soon come. So keep following and get ready for our next adventure. <laughs>